sashimi tuna salad. Usually you'd associate it with some Japanese flavours, but I'm going to change it up and give it a bit of a European feel and serve it with a kefir dressing. I love kefir because it's a fermented yoghurt drink and it's a great substitute for yoghurt, even buttermilk, and it's going to go really nicely in this dressing. So let's get all these little components together before we get onto the dressing. I've just been heating up some oil over here, just some good old extra virgin olive oil. You want this to be on a high heat because we're going to crisp up some capers. So once that's really hot, we're going to fry our little capers, give that a shake. And capers are like little flowers. As soon as they fry up and become crispy, they open up like a beautiful flower. I'm also going to get another pan on, so just a medium heat, because I'm going to make some parmesan chips. These parmesan chips go so well with the tuna. Usually putting cheese and fish together is sacrilege. They just don't go together. But there's something about parmesan when it's cooked and becomes quite crunchy into a chip, it just goes so well. I think it's the salty savouriness of it. And let's check on these capers. They're almost ready. You can see how they're changing colour, sort of a deep green colour and opening up. Pretty happy with that. So we'll turn the heat off and drain them just on some paper toweling. Fab. I'm using a crepe pan to cook my parmesan and chips. I find it much easier to flip. So no oil required. We'll just grab a nice generous handful of this parmesan and just make little circles out of it. Spread it out and it'll start to melt and almost glue together. And the more practice you have at making these, the better they become. They almost look like lace doilies because you can get them quite thin. So it's going to be quite pliable at the moment, but as soon as it comes off the heat, they do firm up. So just with one quick gesture, we get straight underneath it and flip it over. See how that's nice and golden? And the second one, let's get under there and flip that. These are nice as is for an aperitif if you wanted a little snack. Okay, about 10 more seconds on that side. And we'll take them off and then pop them onto a plate. Excellent. Well, that's enough for my salad, so I won't make any more. And we'll just let them cool down. Now on to our dressing. I like to use a mortar and pestle for this to get as much flavour out of our few ingredients. One clove of garlic we'll place into the mortar and pestle with a pinch of salt and this is going to help break down our garlic. Just use a little bit of elbow grease here to make it into a paste and you'll see it become quite sticky. And two fillets of anchovies. We'll just pound that with some mustard. Now, you can use Dijon mustard, but I'm using some powdered mustard. I like this because it's going to thicken up our sauce and give it a really nice bite. So mush that together and a quarter of a cup of our kefir. So this is the substitute to oil and it's a great substitute because we're going to get a really lovely tart flavour. So we'll measure that out accurately and pour that in and then give it a really good mix. All right, that's looking good. I'm just going to grab a spoon to taste it, see if it needs any salt. No more salt required. The anchovies are salty enough and we did add a little salt at the beginning. It does need some pepper though, so crack of pepper. And that's our dressing done. All right, sashimi time. Nice sharp knife for this. And my fishmonger, Manny, he's looked after me. He's given me a perfect loin. It's really cold, which makes it much easier to slice. And I just want very thin slices of it. Almost so thin you can see through that tuna. Now I just want a few slices for my salad. And this is going to be draped on at the last minute after I've dressed everything. It's the texture of tuna that makes this dish. It's buttery, it's soft. I just love it. Okay. And leave the dressing of your leaves, so I'm using rocket leaves, to the very last minute so it stays quite crisp. You could use some mescaline lettuce for this too if you wanted to change it up. So generous handful into a bowl. 
I'll add my pickles, these lovely onion pickles that are so soft, sprinkle them in, separate them, and a kefir dressing to dress those leaves. I'll grab a fork and then give everything a good toss. We'll pop our rocket down first. And this is what we'd call a composed salad because we're composing it. We're going to add different layers to it. So tuna goes on top next, draping it in and around our rocket leaves. And we pop pieces underneath. Our crunchy capers, you can hear how crunchy they become. And a pop of saltiness is what they're going to introduce to this dish. Also, our crispy parmesan chips. Look at this. Oh, crispy parmesan, it's so good. I'm gonna add a few pieces on top. And just because this dressing is quite addictive, a small drizzle on the top to finish it off. Tuna sashimi salad, given a bit of a European twist. It's fantastic with those capers. And these parmesan crisps, they are also very addictive. It's that crunch every time. Mmm, so good.